This video will provide you guidelines for executing your business strategies on a CRM approach. Having a clear understanding of what the business needs are the first step of implementing a CRM strategy. This will give you an idea of what exactly it is that your business needs and which part would most benefit from a CRM. A CRM strategy can be used in a lot of different aspects in a business. This includes sales, marketing, customer support, customer service, and more. Every member within the organization also needs to buy into the strategy. That implementing a successful CRM across the organization takes time and effort. The stakeholders need to make the decisions collectively and everyone should be open to each other's views and needs. More importantly, this decision should be based on realistic budgets and resources. By this point, you already know that CRM is all about the customer. This is why it is important to understand what your customer's needs are instead of focusing on the business needs alone. So, how can you determine what your customer's needs are? There are surveys, online polls, and tests. When you are communicating with the customers to find out what they need, it is important to keep an open mind and listen. Listen to what the market tells you. Additionally, this is where online monitoring tools can come in handy. You can use these tools and insights from social media to have a hint of what your customers think and feel. You can also look at past behavior, churn rates, and successes. There is also the method of data mining where you can understand each customer's behavior, needs, and value. From a business perspective, it is always ideal to look at things in a long-term approach. This is why using a CRM strategy is ideal, and it is a long-term commitment. Here are some objectives and success measures you need to consider depending on your business needs. First is increasing the number of customers. Second, expanding your consumer reach. Third, extending the company's market share. Fourth, increasing the profitability per customer. Fifth, raising customer satisfaction. Sixth, improving the campaign responses. Seventh, developing overall sales. And the last one, improving the end-to-end -end integration of the sales process cycle. There are a lot of different metrics that you can choose from when you are measuring your performance. The metrics that you will choose will be referred to as your KPIs or Key Performance Indicators. The next step is to determine how you are going to implement your CRM. That includes figuring out what channels you will use, what data you will need to implement, and what touch points will you leverage. You will also need to determine the tools you need to gather the data you need and implement your initiatives across those channels. You also need to figure out how you will address the shift and communicate with your internal stakeholders. This must be done before you launch the initiative to your external stakeholders. Lastly, it is time to choose the right tools you will use. There are several different CRM systems and tools such as collaborative CRM tools that combine customer data across all facets of an enterprise. There are also social CRM tools that can be used to collect data from social media, automatic link posting, identifying customer sentiments, and more. Operational CRM systems are available that are used to manage the most apparent consumer-specific networks. Then there are sales and marketing automation CRM tools to manage sales cycles, track leads, schedule transactions, generate detailed reports, and more. Lastly, there are analytical CRM tools that allow your company to record, save, and investigate customer data. Analytical CRM tools help you understand your customers better based on their behavior. These are used in gathering information, customer preferences, and needs. It can also be used to gather information on your competitors, the market, and the industry. CRM tools are also crucial for focusing on providing customer solution as opposed to simply offering products and services. It is crucial to do this step by step so you can implement a winning CRM strategy. What step are you in now? We want to know. Comment down below. Like this video and subscribe for more awesome online marketing tips.